Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks Power Move, we're gonna talk about the idea of a window selection. Here you can see that only these two items were selected versus a crossing selection. This time you can see that we selected one, two, three, four items. So what do we do differently to select those four items versus just selecting those two? Well, first of all, just real quick point of, of a note here, we're gonna uncheck this option for shaded sketch contours for this tutorial. I think that'll make it a little easier to see what we're doing so just uncheck that if you're following along with this tutorial and now let's talk about this crossing versus window selection I know this has been in the software for a long time but sometimes if you understand these little nuances and you see some some actual use cases it can kind of unlock some things and help you understand how to use these tools a little better so the idea of a window selection is you start on the left and you drag you left mouse button and drag to the right and only items that are completely encompassed by that window become selected so only one item was selected because only that circle was completely encompassed by that window. Now, if I make the same rectangular shape, but I start on the right and I left mouse button and drag to the left, now what happens is I've got these one, two, three entities selected because with a crossing, what happens is anything that's inside the window or anything that the window is touching becomes selected. So the crossing actually picks up on anything that that, that crossing window is touching. Crossing goes from the right to the left and window goes from the left to the right. And you can do that from down below, from the bottom up or from the top down. It doesn't matter, it's still a window if you're going from the left to the right. So some places that I use this a lot in the software is I like to do a quick crossing here to get these two entities and make them tangent or get these two entities here and make them tangent. I like to use a crossing here to get these entities and make them both equal. And I like to do a crossing maybe to take two lines and make them parallel or make them perpendicular. So I'll do a crossing here and I'll say I want these lines to be parallel. I think those are really good workflows to look for when you're in sketch mode. Now, what about the difference between using a crossing and using a window? Well, in this case, I want to do a double mirror in my sketch and I want to do it as quickly as possible. So I want to pre-select the geometry, but in order to do this as quickly as possible, I only want to select one mirror line. Well, the first one is pretty easy. I could just do a crossing here and just select this vertical mirror line and then click mirror entities. But what about the second one? If I do a crossing here, I'm going to get both of those mirror lines. So instead, what I could do is a window and I can intentionally omit that vertical center line just by having that window be a little bit lower than the end point of that center line. Now only this horizontal center line is selected and now I can do a mirror again. And I know that might seem like a little thing, but I've done this many, many, many times. And this is really what I think makes this a good power move. And like I said, I know that window and crossing have been in the software for a long time, but sometimes if you just understand the nuances of these really commonly available tools, they can end up saving you a lot of time. And that is what I think makes this a good power move. So if you agree, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments if you learned anything from this video. And of course, if you're ever interested in taking some training with Tutal, Toby, take a look at the links down below in the description. We've got a lot of good training classes on our Thinkific site, and I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next Too Tall Toby SolidWorks Power Move.